What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to go over five things that we can expect or hope to see in The Mandalorian Season 2. Now, Season 1 obviously just ended. We've done a review for every single episode on the channel. We also talked about Season 1, Episode 8, you know, the season finale's ending and what that could mean for the future, and that's what this video is going to be focusing heavily on. So, again, I'm going to go over five things that I hope or that I would like to see um, in the next season. Some of these things are kind of guarantees, but I'm going to explain some of them are not, and I'm going to explain a little bit of what I want to see from each of these. Um, the first one is Baby Yoda jumping up in age. Now, I don't want to go too much into what I think this could lead to, because that is actually another number on my list, but one of the stuff I w do want to get to is how it actually affects the show, and I talked about this in a few videos ago. I talked about, will Baby Yoda be safe? And I talked about, you know, you don't want to take him out of the picture, let's say. I don't want to use the word for YouTube's purposes, but let you don't want to do that I don't think they ever would do that but the whole protecting an innocent child thing yeah they're gonna make so much money on merchandise they're gonna make so much money on all of the stuff that's coming out because everybody loves baby Yoda but at the same time you can't have a damsel in distress situation every single episode now yeah he's not necessarily you know a damsel right he can use the force he has actually saved them probably just as many times as they've saved him so it's not like he's completely helpless but I don't think you can continue continuously do the same thing over and over so jumping him up in age if there is a time jump at all which I do believe there will be it, it I think honestly is kind of necessary uh and they even make the point you know we want to find out where he's from we want to reunite him with the species but Mando's the dad now um and maybe he's going to train him or he should at least train him so we'll see how that actually goes we'll see if the force powers can get enhanced or if, if he can literally start to become you know the workings of basically a Jedi in season two or maybe it's starts off season two with a little training program that they've been running. Um, I think that'd be a really cool opening. Number two is Moff Gideon's backstory. I talked about this in yesterday's video and when I talked about the season finale. I think, again, this is kind of assured, but what they show of him, uh, how he gets the Darksaber, right? Uh, and we kind of know a little bit about him. We know a little bit about the history of Mandalore, about his, I guess, because he has the Darksaber, about his role in that, who he took it from, uh, where it was, all that kind of stuff. So we kind of know that. And if you watch Rebels, you'll maybe be able to piece it together. But still, a lot of people have not watched Rebels that are watching The Mandalorian. We've act And also, we've never seen this kind of stuff live action. We've never seen the Darksaber in live action. We've heard about it in terms of Rogue One, but we've never seen it. So there's plenty of stuff they can get into. He's, seen, he's a phenomenal character. He's a phenomenal actor, that actor. Um, and so it, it's I'm really happy they didn't just take him out of the picture right away. And that hopefully we'll be able to see not just his side of things in general. Like, you know, he's going to be doing his own stuff to get to Mando and Baby Yoda, but also, you know, what is what? where did he come from, right? Why does he have the power he has? How does he have the Darksaber? Is he going to use it? Can we see kind of a fight scene with that against the against Mando? I think that would be truly, truly awesome, and something I think most of that is pretty assured. It's just how they show it back, you know, those kind of flashback scenes we saw. I think those are going to be very, very important for the next uh, season. The next thing is Mando, Grief, and Cara Dune uh, coming back together, reuniting. And we know from what actually different actors, especially of Grief's actor, has said uh, that he's going to get more of a backstory in the next season. I think it's going to honestly be that way with kind of everybody. The, the, most, the character that had the most backstory in this season was obviously our main character, right? And I don't even think that's done because we really just saw how the Mandalorian, you know, guild picked him up from when his family got destroyed and the entire you know city got you know basically uh, sacked right so we don't really know I mean he's told us but we haven't seen what happens afterwards I'm sure we'll see a little bit more of that as well but now you know there's some other characters here and honestly I especially Cara Dune I didn't love her character the first episode in fact I thought she was pretty darn weak but what I love about this show is it actually it picked up and she became a really good character and by the end of this episode episode 8 I really do like her as a character I think all I think all three of those, you call them, I guess, main characters, are very, very strong in their own ways. So I'd love to see more about them. I'd love to see more of their backstory. And again, we kind of already know from the actor themselves saying, like, you know, we're going to get that. So that's definitely awesome. We're going to get that as well. Now, this one is something, again, like, uh, you know, the title, like what I hope or want to see is Mando taking his mask off in front of a living person. So we obviously got to see Pedro Pascal's face, which, you know, we all know that's who it was. 
was, but to see him in the mask, to see see him talk, you know, was really cool. And to be honest with you, I like I haven't seen it anywhere. It didn't seem out of place. It seems like it worked really, really well. I don't think anybody is like upset with that. I think it was a really good scene, and I think you know it is. It, it can be a situation. I just say where if you see his face in this kind of situation, it may be a little weird, right? It could be like eh, I don't know if that exactly fit. Obviously, it's his voice, so we know that fits. But like eh, I don't know if I can buy that this guy is under the mask. Like same thing like when Darth Vader took off his mask in Episode Six, right? Obviously, it's not Hayden Christensen, but we get to see that actor, and it's like, do we buy that that was him the whole time? I think so, just because of the way the suit has always kind of just kept him alive and made him kind of probably more powerful than he, or like, you know, made him seem more intimidating than the face that's probably underneath it, right? Not necessarily more powerful because the suit kind of held him back. Um, but so, like, there is that kind of worry, though, where it's like, is it going to match? Like, is he going to kind of look very out of place that he shouldn't be in that suit? Basically, what I'm trying to get at is it worked really well. Obviously, he's got the code. At the same time, if most of the Mandalorian try, and they, they kind of hinted that there are going to still be some around, but if most of them are gone, hey, maybe it's time you kind of force your own rules right like it doesn't have to be the way where you can't take your mask off and if they're going to do anything obviously there is a not necessarily romantic interest but there is definitely a like they respect each other and they like each other and at least a friendship kind of way or like a partnership kind of way between him and Kara like that is something that you can go forward with in in season two uh he almost did it to that girl back uh you know i think in episode five it was so he's gotten close to it before i think if he gets close to somebody individually he may be able to do it i'd like to see it i don't want him the mask off like every episode every scene of every every episode i don't want that but i think character building and some emotional scenes i think it'd be really really good every so often maybe maybe even just once a season or like twice you know once every four episodes um to see his face interacting with somebody just to kind of further the lore and again kind of make it be like uh, it's a character development uh you know plot too or it's like you don't need to have the mask on like it's not like you don't have to like leave the guild you can't you don't have to give your armor back right like it's just all about surviving at this point and if you take it off i mean that's your choice most of these guys are gone anyway right so i think that can definitely be a pretty cool plot device character device going forward and my fifth one and this one kind of goes back again to baby yoda is him talking now this is very tough because how do you do a time gap? When do they actually start to be able to do, like, things in general, right? And, like, you can't make all the other characters that old, so how many years can possibly go by? It's really, in I mean, we know, like, Yoda, 800, 900 years old, but when did he, and that was in episode six, but when did he first start to be able to talk? When did he start to be able to do that stuff? Like, I don't know if that's something they want to do. Again, like, I feel like we can either have one or the other, and I feel like my number one was more likely. I feel like him using, being able to use the force without passing out, without draining his stuff, stuff like that, walking on his own, you know, not being carried all the time, something like that. I feel like that is where season two can take us. I feel like we can't have all of that, but then also just have him talk, walk around, and like be an, an act, a huge, huge like individual. I don't know if they would go that far. It'd be interesting, and I'm sure people would find it like cute and like amusing that he would be able to talk. So we'll see. Maybe that's something they would go to eventually. Um, but I think for this list, I mean, it's something I would like them to try to do, but I'm not going to demand it as long as Yoda in general, this baby Yoda, as long as he takes steps in terms of just growing up in the first place back to my, you know, no, the first thing I wanted from season two, I will be happy. So guys, let me know in the comments below, what do you want to see from season two? So what are some of the things character-wise, story-wise, maybe planet-wise, where do you want the season two to take the show? Let me know in the comments below. We're going to be having more Mandalorian videos over the next couple of days, so if you guys are interested in that stuff, make sure you're subscribed, have that bell icon hit, and I hope to see you all on the next video.